Uh, yes, hi Wendy, this is Ray, and um, in this video we're going to go over your new website. Um, based on the notes that you emailed me and our discussion over the phone, uh, this is the new website that I've set up for you, and it has all of the features that you asked for. Uh, please watch this video all the way through because I go over uh, some of the finer details of the website and uh, some features that may not be apparent um, when looking at the site. So please do watch this video all the way through. Um, keep in mind that this website uh, is very, very easy to update. You can actually set up sub-accounts for your editors, your students, uh, giving them limited access to add articles, edit articles, um, save articles, but they cannot edit the main features or the settings of the website. That can only be done by the master administrator account which will go to you and you can also create additional um, administrator accounts. I don't suggest that you allow too many people to have access to the actual core settings of the site that usually um, ends up causing issues down the road. Um, it's always best to have one person have that master access so that if anything happens to the site or if you make any changes um, it'll be easy for someone to troubleshoot at what stage um, that issue uh, took effect and they can fix it. Uh, I found that when you allow too many people to have access to the core features of the site, that's when problems arise. Um, but you can actually give your students um, uh, editor accounts which will allow them to add content to the site but in no way, shape or form are they going to uh, risk damaging the site in any way. Uh, the site is based on uh, the WordPress backend. I noticed the original site that you had was uh, you had started it on WordPress. So I wanted to make sure that this site would migrate over and allow you guys to seamlessly start using it without having to learn a new platform. Uh, this is the home page of the website. So as you can see, I have your logo up here. Um, I have a nice background, a wood textured background. I thought about going with a chalkboard type of background since it is for uh, amateur high, but um, I chose this background. If you don't like this background, I can change it. Um, so let me know. I can I can make it a a colored background. I can use a different uh, image as the background. Um, whatever you might suggest, if you have something that you might want to specifically see here as the background, but I can change that very easily. You'll notice on the uh, home page of the website. You have some standard items that are always constant no matter what page you're on. You have the current date, you have your navigation link up here and down here. The reason there's two areas for navigation is you can actually have different links up here uh, and have different links down here. Now right now I have them both showing the same links, but just keep in mind that you can have different links up here. Um, that's why I've designated two areas on the website to have navigation links. Sometimes it's useful to have two. If you have different links that you want to put in one, and then you can have your main website links in this main uh, menu bar up here. You have a search feature. In your email, you asked for a search feature, so I put that up here for you. So if somebody wants to search for a particular article or um, topic, they can do that here. Now this is the home page of the website. I've set up your website to have a few different categories for articles. General news, sports, AVTV yearbook, and featured news. These might be uh, um, news that you really want to bring attention to, time sensitive news, uh, but it's featured. So um, you know it, it's uh, stuff that you might want to bring a little bit more attention to. And then you have the general news category um, articles that have to do with sports will go here. Um, you can add unlimited categories. So you can actually add additional categories. You can change the names of these categories. You can change the order they're listed in. That's all up to you, but to get you up and running, I've set up the categories you've asked for. Um, you didn't really have any articles on your current website. So what I did was I took a little bit of time. I went online and I found a lot of articles that are just general articles, um, articles related towards um, 
school, high school students. Um, and I only did that so I could fill up the website with some content because I wouldn't be able to test some of the features unless I had some content on the site. So um, I filled it up with some content and I scattered these articles, these content um, throughout and I put them in different categories just to kind of make sure each category had some dummy articles to get you up and running. Either yourself or your students can log in and replace these articles very easily. Um, and I found it that when I hand over a website and I've taken the time to add some dummy articles or just some example content, it makes it easier for the new owner to go and replace the content rather than handing over an empty website. So um, I'm sure it'll be helpful to you guys. You can just log in um, and delete the articles I have here as examples and add your own. Um, now the home page if you scroll through you'll see that it's really a menu of your most latest articles and content that you've added to the website. So the home page basically is a snapshot of everything you have to offer and I've set it up this way. We have a top slideshow here and this is actually pulling from the featured news category. So you don't have to worry about updating the home page at all. All you have to do is add content to the website and the home page will automatically update itself to pull the most recent articles from each of these categories. And this slideshow up here is actually pulling from the featured news category. So as you replace and add articles to the featured news uh, section of your website, this will automatically update itself. There will be tutorials um, that will show you how everything works, uh, so don't worry about that. And then underneath that, I thought it would be a good uh, area to maybe put a video, um, you know, a video introduction to the website, or you could update this section and add a new video. Maybe there's an upcoming dance or an event, and you have a video promo for it. This is a good area to put uh, for the video. pledge. And so uh, I, I pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United, United States of America and, and to the republic uh, for which it So I think it's really here. You also have a video gallery on your website. So you can actually you actually have a page where you can put a lot more videos. And then when you scroll down further, you have some sample uh, teaser content that leads into articles. This right here is pulling from the general news section of the website. So again, as you add content to the website, this will automatically update. So basically this area is just showing images and titles of articles that are available uh, if someone wants to read them. And then you scroll down and you have some more. This is pulling from the sports category and this is pulling from the featured category and as you add categories to the website you could set these areas to pull from a different category so if you put a category for example for music department and you had articles about the music program at school you could set this to pull articles from just that category that's up to you what I did again is I just picked random articles I found online filled up your categories with these articles. I didn't pay any particular attention to the topic or I didn't or trying to match them with the categories. I just wanted to fill up the website with content. So again, um, even though you might see some duplicate content here, uh, it's very easy to replace it with your own. And once you designate what categories the articles belong to, these little teaser boxes I've set up will pull from those categories. So this pulls from sports, this pulls from featured, this pulls from general news, this pulls from featured again. And as you add more categories, um, you could have them uh, switch and pull from different ones. So for example, it literally takes a, less than a minute to log into your back panel as the administrator, set this box here instead of pulling from featured to pull from articles from AVTV for example. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you. And then when you scroll down I have must see news. Uh, you can change this title to whatever you want. And I have this section just pulling from um, all of the categories randomly. And basically it's a nice little scrolling effect. So as you add articles to your website 
this will scroll through and show you some teaser images and titles of the articles that are available. And then I also have another section where I have what's happening and I've selected four um, articles to be selected from general news and displayed here. Again, if you want to choose this area to display another type of um, feed from a different category, you can. You can, add up in a, you can add an additional category and have this area pulled from any new category you might set up. That's all up to you. And again, there will be tutorials that will show you how everything works. Um, I personally make tutorials for every customer once I create a website showing them how to manage all of the features. So don't worry at all about that. You mentioned you wanted some advertising opportunities on your website. I have a banner down here for Amador Valley Driving School. I just did this as a little example. When you click on it, you'll be taken to Amador Valley Driving School. And um, so you can actually change this. You, you, might, you can actually charge people for advertising space on the website if you like, and you're in your community, local businesses, or you could um, just display banners to websites that you want your students to also go to or the people that come to your website. Uh, it's very important to have your social links uh, displayed in various areas of your site so I have them down here I also have them on the side so that when you're at the top of the site you still see your social links and then as you scroll down to the bottom you're reminded to share this website on Facebook subscribe to your YouTube channel or Twitter and I'll need you to provide me with the links to each of these networks please and I can link that up um, you'll notice on the side of your website I uh, did everything you asked for. I have, for example, um, you wanted the opportunity to have little surveys and polls on your website. So I added a feature that allows you to create surveys or take polls and uh, people can vote. And right when they vote, they can actually see the results in real time. Uh, it's a real nice feature. So you can see here there hasn't been too many votes, but um, as people vote, you can see the actual um, tally in real time, and you can you can very easily add your own surveys and polls. So um, it, it's a, you can create a survey or take a poll on any topic you want and put it here in the sidebar. So I've set that feature up for you. I also set up a feature on the sidebar area for um, for you to pull videos from your Amador Valley High. Um, YouTube channel and display them here in the sidebar area. Right now I'm using a different YouTube channel, a documentary channel to pull videos because I didn't have your YouTube channel but I wanted to at least show you how this works. So this is the area that you would um, for example put the uh, feed to Amador Valley High uh, YouTube channel and I've set this area to pull um, three of your most recent videos. So as you add videos to your YouTube channel, this will constantly change and show thumbnails to the most recent videos. I made this website very easy to manage. Uh, the home page is not something you have to update manually. Each of these will automatically update itself as you add content. So as you add content to your website, these teaser boxes will update. And as you add videos to your YouTube channel, this sidebar area showing your most recent video clips will automatically update itself also. And then it says visit us on YouTube um, and again this basically will link to your YouTube channel. I will need you to provide me with your YouTube channel right now. I'm using this YouTube channel just as an example. Um, but you can see everything set up and uh, just provide me with your YouTube link and I can update that. You wanted an area where you could announce upcoming events. So I have this set up here on the sidebar of your website. Uh, you as the administrator or even one of your editors can log into the website at any time 24-7 and add events that might be upcoming. You can either add all day events or events that start and end at a specific time. It's up to you. There will be a short tutorial that goes over this specific feature. Um, showing you how easy it is to add events to your calendar. And people can put their mouse over any one of these events, get more details, or they can click View Calendar and they'll go to a page that I've set up 
which is uh, exclusively an event calendar. And you can update this event calendar very, very easily. Um, the tutorial will show you how. And then you have areas here for ads. You could put little thumbnail ads. You might have seen on various websites where they'll have billboard space on their website for ads. Well, I've set up the same thing for you. So these, um, you can easily update these with any image and link it to any website. So you have the ad space you asked for. This little icon here, when you click on it, it just brings you right back to the top. I just thought it might be a nice little feature, so I've added it to the site. Your website also has, if we go here, for example, if we want to see all the articles in the general news category, we can click here. And these are all of the articles in the general news category. I have social links so people can uh, share these articles if they find any of them helpful. They can share it on their Facebook or Twitter network. Very, very important. And you can see that um, the sidebar has an area where we have other articles displayed. We have an ad billboard if somebody, you know, if you want to sell some advertising space. Again, videos from your YouTube channel will be here. Upcoming events surveys and polls here's our, here's another survey we can click no vote and the neat thing is about this feature you as the administrator can log into the back panel and look at all of the stats for all the surveys and polls that you're taking really really neat and then we have some advertising space here so you can see that the category pages are really nicely neatly organized showing all the articles in this specific category simply click on an article and um, you'll go to that article you can read it um, again Wendy I just randomly picked out a bunch of articles um, online you guys will have to log in and replace these with your real articles the actual content that you want on the website but it's very easy to do so um, so then if we come here to the sports category same thing it's basically a category of all of the articles in this section and you can just scroll through and pick out the article that you want to read I would imagine in the sports category it's going to be articles about the high school sports team or sporting events uh, general Amador Valley sports news um, and then same thing with this I'm not going to go through each one of these but these are all just categories that show um, all of the articles currently in each category you wanted a picture gallery I set up two different picture galleries for you I set up a picture gallery in this format here um, and uh, I'm gonna let you tell me which one you prefer this one is a nice scrolling uh, picture gallery you have the thumbnail scrolling on top you click on a thumbnail and you'll see the larger view down here very very easy to update these pictures a tutorial will show you how um, and if you want to let people upload their own pictures they can click here fill out this information upload their picture but you have to view it and approve it before it's actually added to the page so I've added that safety measure and then I have a second picture gallery um, just to kind of see uh, which one you prefer better this one is going to have all of your pictures simply as thumbnails and as you add more pictures they'll go in additional rows and then you click on a picture and you can just scroll through like a slideshow and look at each picture so um, I'm gonna let you tell me which one you prefer which layout but same thing people can also upload their own pictures your students or faculty whatever they can upload their own pictures um, but you will um, have to approve it first before it's made uh, live on this website so you're protected from anybody posting anything that's inappropriate I also have a video gallery again I'll need you to provide me with your YouTube uh, your YouTube channel link um, so that I can update this page but basically this page pulls all of your most recent videos from your YouTube channel and shows it on this page and so people can actually come to this page and look at all of the videos in your YouTube channel um, directly on this website they don't ever have to leave the site to look at all your YouTube videos they can actually view the videos right here on the website. Um, again, I'll need you to provide me with your YouTube link right now using a Vietnam. different YouTube channel.
After World War II, uh, France, then America, become mired in the century's longest war. The, the pivotal event is one of the bloodiest and most historic battles of the 20th century, Dien Bien Phu. Um, but I need you to provide me with your YouTube channel link, please. And I can update this page with your actual YouTube content. Um, I already showed you the events calendar. Basically, this goes to the full calendar that the uh, sidebar area links to for the events. You can click here and you can see more details on the event. Very, very easy to set up. You can see here. And I will show you how that works uh, in a tutorial. Now, if we go here to um, what I wanted to show you is I actually set up a feature on your website that allows people to register and build a profile page and actually network with other registered members of your website just like Facebook. So I basically set up a Facebook style community on your website. That's why if you notice up here we have login buttons and register buttons. I set up a bunch of um, user accounts just as examples and to test all the features I set up to make sure they work. If we click log in and I'm going to put Sally that's just one user account I set up as an example. You'll see that Sally has a profile page. And um, this is her profile page. I can put a bio here. I can put information about my interests, any hobbies, etc. Friends, I have no friends as of yet. Um, but I can very easily come up here to members. I can click members. These are all the uh, different accounts I set up just to test everything out. And I can send friend requests. So I'm going to add Timmy as a friend. I want to add Tommy as a friend. I can um, come back here to my messages and I can see if I, if I have any messages from any people on the website. Right now I have no messages. Um, I can compose. I can basically write on my wall just like Facebook has a timeline. I can do that here as well. I can change my profile pic. So basically I set up a Facebook style community on this website. People will have to come and they'll have to register. Once they register they'll get an activation email and they can then once they activate their account they can come here and network with other people. Now I'm going to log out and I'm going to sign back in as someone else. So we're going to log out. Now everybody that registers on your website they'll be registered um, as a very limited uh, member just allows them to basically network with other people, send instant messages, join in in the chat groups, but they cannot do anything as far as the content or the settings of the website. Think of it basically as a Facebook uh, style community on your website. They can't do anything as far as uh, change any of the settings or add content. Let's log in. Um, and this time we'll log in uh, under Tommy's account. And you can see how everything works. I just want to show you, for example, here. This is Tommy. It's showing a timeline of what I've been doing since I became a member. Friends. I don't have any friends as of yet. Requests. You can go here and see any requests. Sally has sent me a friend request, so I can either accept or reject. I'll go ahead and accept. And so now, if I refresh this page, you'll see that now it's showing that I have one friend because I accepted Sally's friend request so I can click here and I can see that hey my friend Sally so I can actually click on her name and I can send her a private message And then I can come here and click send. 
So basically what I've done is I've set up a feature on your website where people can create user accounts, set up a profile wall, and over time this will grow and they can network with others and send messages, hold chat groups. If I log out here, let's log back in under Sally's account and I want to show you how the messaging system works. And remember, Wendy, that you as the administrator, as the master account holder of the website, can you can see all of this activity when you log into the back panel. So you'll actually see everything that's going on on your website because you are the administrator. So all these friend requests and new members that sign up, you have access to all of them. Now when we come here, you'll see we have one friend because we just accept it under Tommy's account. See, we now have one friend and we have a message from Tommy. We come down here and oh, guess what? We have a message, one new message, and it says hi. So you can see it's really neat feature. Um, I'm sure it'll be very useful and fun on your website for people to be able to join the website and uh, invite their friends. And you can even hold chat groups. If you come here and go to chat groups, I've set up a few chat groups on your website already. I set up a chat group, Amador Valley High Yearbook, Amador Valley High School Forum, Amador Valley High Journalists. And um, I've set up a membership on this website already. I've tested it. Um, all these forums, these I'm sure you've been on chat forums before. Basically, once you request membership and you're accepted, you now have a central area where you can discuss topics relating to the yearbook, um, the forum relating to uh, just general uh, student and faculty forum, one that's private forum for the journalists. And the neat thing about these forums, these groups, um, is that whatever you chat that you have, whatever messages that you post is completely private and only the people that are members of these groups have access to them. So you could have one for the drama group, you could have one for the music group, you could have one for you know the sports group um, and you know have the people from the sports team of Amador Valley basically uh, be able to chat with each other and only people that are members of each forum have access to that. So it's a way of keeping discussions private on your website and you as the administrator can create as many different groups as you want. Um, so uh, very very nice feature and basically uh, we're just about done you can see that I've hit everything on the nail as far as all the features you wanted right now it's just a matter of uh, making sure that you like the layout and the design um, I look forward to your feedback just let me know what you think about the background I can change this to whatever background you like um, I tried to keep the color scheme that we discussed over the phone um, so let's go up here Let's go to um, log out, and we'll log out of the website. Thank you so much for your patience, Wendy. I hope that you are happy with the website. Again, um, you're welcome to send me any feedback that you have uh, relating to the layout and the looks of the website. I will fine-tune this until you're completely happy. But um, right now, as it stands, if you're happy with the website, I can move it over right away, hand you over the keys with the tutorials. Uh, everything is fully operational, ready to go. Um, I just need your feedback on it. And please remember, I need your links to your social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google Circle. Um, I also need the link to your YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much. This is the end of the video.